Okay, this is a standard problem. We're given a circuit comprising of capacitors, and we're asked to use the standard rules of combining capacitors in series or parallel, convert the series of uh, capacitors uh, into uh, equivalent to a single capacitor. So the first thing to note is the uh, C2 and C2, they're in series, and C1, C1 are in series. Okay, so then we can use the rules of the, uh, to combine them into a single capacitor. So let's just redraw the circuit. Okay. C1 and C1 are in series. So this capacitor C1, C1 is equivalent to C1 and C1 in series. And likewise here for C2 and C2, they're in series, so I can replace those using the standard rules uh, with capacitor C2, C2. Okay, then we can see that uh, these two capacitors here, C2, C2 and C1, 1, uh, they're in parallel, so we, we can then combine those uh, into the final result. I'm going to call that capacitor C12. Okay, to compute once, uh, to combine the way the rules work, you combine these two capacitors C2 and C2. Uh, we use that they're in uh, series, so we use the standard rules that uh, 1 over C22 equals. One over thirty plus one over thirty, and that equals uh, thirty plus thirty uh, divided by thirty times thirty. Okay, and this gives us the final number for C22. Okay, so we have uh, 1 over C22 uh, is 30 plus 30, 60, divided by 900. If you invert that, you get uh, 15. Okay, and I'll put in the units right at the end. Everything's got to be in microfinance. And similarly for... Uh, 1 over C1, 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 uh, so C1 is 20, okay, so I mean this is the rule for combining capacities in series, uh, you add up the inverse of the capacitance, and that equals uh, uh, 20 plus 20 divided by 20 times 20 and that implies C11 equals 10 okay so what I've done is combine the two things together you can always just do this depending on how you do on the calculator just add up 1 over 20 plus 1 over 20 and then invert it, but if you do a bit of uh, magic, combine them together, combine again the two numerators. Uh, you get uh, C1 is 10. Then the, f then the final thing we note that uh, uh, at this stage we've calculated C22 and C11. And then we notice that uh, these two capacitors are actually uh, in parallel. And then we use the rules that in parallel with the capacitance of capacitors in parallel add up together. So this tells us that uh, C12 equals 20 
equals C11 plus C22 equals 10. This is C11 plus C22, 15 equals 25 nanofarads. Okay, so that's how we get the answer up here, that's 25 nanofarads. Okay, so the logic is you uh, identify which components are in series and parallel, and usually you, you sort of go from the uh, kind of inwards, the smallest component, uh, and then slowly you build up components, add in the two things here in series, so you get this, then finally you end up the simpler circuit with two capacitors in parallel, and then combine everything together, and that gives you the answer.